welcome to my channel. Can you calculate the RPM of a helicopter by the sound it makes? If the answer was no, this video would end right here, so it's yes, of course. Unfortunately, helicopters are not all the same, so we need to know at least one thing, the number of rotor blades, and of course we need a recording of the sound it is making. I chose a classic Soviet helicopter, the Mi-10. It's not just an impressive machine, there also happens to be a video with original sound on YouTube. Most of it is dubbed with some old school YouTube agitating music, but in some parts of it you can hear the actual noise the chopper is making. And even better, there's footage with audio from inside the helicopter, which is perfect, because in that way you don't have to deal with the Doppler effect. That is because the source of the noise and the microphone are in the same inertial frame of reference. It would be possible to use audio of a helicopter flying by, but this would add some guessing and uncertainties, which would reduce the accuracy. First, let's see where this flapping noise is coming from that I'm going to use. These balls may represent air. If in my example the heli is going 100 miles per hour, that's 44.7 meters per second, the tips of the rotor blades that are going forward will have added these 44.7 meters to their speed, and the blades going backward will have their speed reduced by 44.7. So within fractions of a second, the flow around the blades changes by almost 90 meters per second, from very fast to even faster, and fast airflows always get very noisy. The noise itself comes from vortices and compressing and decompressing air. It's kind of similar to the whoosh sound you'll get when you beat the air with a stick or when you're dancing really fast. Okay, in short, each blade produces a noise peak at each turn. With five blades, we get five peaks on each turn, of course. All I'm going to do is to count these peaks in a given period of time. Just that simple. Here you see the audio in Audacity, and I have zoomed into the part from inside the cockpit. We have a lot of background noise, but the peaks are still distinct enough to see them in the waveform, so I don't have to use any kind of filters. This is a 3 seconds clip from the internal noise, and I'm just going to count the peaks by hand. 1, 2, 3, well, 30. I'm sure it's also possible to do that with some automated sound processing, but this would be a bit of an over-the-top effort here. I'm counting 30 peaks in 3 seconds. This coincidence makes it nice and easy to calculate. 30 peaks in 3 seconds, or 10 peaks in 1 second. 10 peaks and 5 blades means each blade contributes 2 peaks each second. So it's obviously rotating 2 times a second. 2 in a second is 120 a minute, and that's true. Prove me wrong. Google it. By the way, that's really slow. I have seen MI6 flying when I was young. And MI6 have the same engines and gearbox, and if you have fast eyes, you can see the individual blades in flight. They don't blur into one disc like on small helicopters. Okay, that's it for this video. Pretty random again. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.